This is a sty. This is also called as a hordeolum. This is happening due to inflammation of oil glands in eyelids. This will appear like red swell and nodule on the lid. Basically, it will look like a pimple on the lids. This sty or hordeolum can occur inside the lids or outside the lids. Inside the lids, we'll call it as a internum hordeolum. This is occurring due to inflammation of meibomian glands on the lids. Outside the lids, we'll call it as a externum hordeolum. This is due to inflammation. of zeiss and more glands on the eyelids and the staphylococcal bacteria is the most common cause for a eyelid infections symptoms of this condition patient can complain with swelling of lids pain and redness In signs in periocular area we can easily identify the hordeolums eyelid evasion should be performed to rule out the internum hordeolum visual acuity anterior segment evaluation and dilated fundoscopic evaluation is necessary to rule out the extension of eyelid pathology treatment for this condition in mild cases lid hygiene will be advised daily cleaning the lids with mild soap and warm water will reduce the incidence of styes Eyelid and face makeup should be removed completely before going to the sleep every time. It is very important to wash the hands before touching the eyes. Can use sterile lid wipes to clean the eyelids. Can advise warm compression for the lids. Most of the styes are self-resolving with lid hygiene. In moderate cases, antibiotic drops or ointment will be given. In severe cases, in cases of recurrent non-resolving styes, can convert into chalazion. In this stage, surgical removal might be required. Complication of this condition if lid hygiene is not maintained properly this styes can reoccur frequently this can lead to cosmetic problem often the styes will give visual disturbances very rarely if it is untreated this infection can spread into periorbital areas differential diagnosis of this condition can be chalazion carcinoma oil gland cyst tarsal cyst xanthelasma papilloma pyogenic granuloma and amyloid deposition